hi i'm angelica welcome back to my channel this week i have my first double header ever which means i have two weddings in one weekend i have a wedding on friday i have another wedding on saturday and i have a corporate event on sunday which is a lot but i rented cooler space for this week because i know it's going to be a lot of florals to keep alive all at the same time um, and so this is going to allow me to not sacrifice quality and be able to deliver all of the florals as fresh as possible to each one of these events. But when I say that my place is a indoor garden right now, I'm definitely not exaggerating. I will still be designing from my place. And so I'm going to show you all of the ingredients that I have to work with as well as all of the centerpiece compotes that I've already prepped in order to start designing in just a bit. So let me show you what I have. This is the all white wedding pretty much. I'm gonna go over the flower names really quickly. I have some Allium here. I have white Scabiosa. I have two different bunches of Fritillaria, both yellow and lavender. I have tons and tons of white Ranunculus. I have some white Dahlias and white Tulips. These are going to be substituting white Cosmos because of the yellow center. Um, white Cosmos were in the floral proposal, but because they're not available currently due to like the cooler weather we've been experiencing, they're just not available right now. So I had a substitute. I have tons and tons of white Orlia, which is absolutely stunning right now. I have white Phlox. This is white larkspur. There's white ruffly lisianthus. I still need to trim these little buds here. I don't really like to work with these, um, but they are already fully processed. I have tons and tons of Italian rescus here, as well as just like two bunches in the very back of huckleberry. I have white wax flower, a little bit of Fever few, Spirea, and then I have just two branches of white cherry blossom. So this is all of the blooms that are going to be pretty much incorporated into the all-white wedding, with the exception of the bridal bouquet that's going to have a little bit more of pastel touches. Now let me show you the blooms for the other wedding. This is going to potentially be incorporated into both, which is why I have it here in the middle. But this is white majolica, and I have some roses over here processing both quicksand, which is this lush tone, and also some Playa Blancas. I have more flowers here. This is from last week, but they've been holding up perfectly, so I am definitely going to include it. Um, these are as well quicksand roses and Playa Blancas. I have some beautiful brownie um, sweet peas. This, I can't remember what it's called. I need to check, but it's absolutely stunning. And I think that it's gonna look really, really pretty with all of the um, like blush tones. I think I'm just gonna incorporate this into the personals, which I think it's gonna look really pretty with. I also have some brownie lisianthus, some pieris and some butterfly ranunculus, which is absolutely stunning. They are blooming so, so good. Um, but this wedding pretty much calls for mostly quicksand roses and just touches of all of these other ingredients here, as well as the white majolica that I showed you. So as you can see, there's a ton of flowers at my place right now, and it is a little overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. Um, to have so many flowers kind of like taking over my home right now. But eventually in the future, we'll grow into hopefully having a flower studio one day. So for now, I'm going to work with what I have. And I am now going to show you the centerpieces that I've prepped or the centerpiece compotes that I've prepped to start flowering. 
This is the center pieces, the vases that I will be using for the design. I've already wired it and filled it with water. I have a ton of other ones here. Um, the first blush wedding calls for 16 center pieces. So everything's like chicken wired, taped and ready to go. I just need to fill it up with water and get to designing. Thank you.